First off, don't be talking about the coach. Money talks, don't be talking about exposure. You know we ain't about to leave, so we'll leave you with some bars. Money talks, don't be talking about exposure. Flips hair. I just need to tell you guys the truth. We've already taken, um, we already introduced mm. ourselves, but due to public demand, public demand, and Conchita <laughs> trying to flip her hair back and forth, Wait. we have to introduce ourselves. We have to do our intro again. I have to be very careful. Okay, so when Conchita, when Conchita is done flipping her hair, maybe we can start. Give me a moment. God, my God. Oh, hello there. This is my lovely dusky Conchita. My name is Nina Shivan and allow her to introduce herself. Welcome to Wilkins for Builders podcast yes. and hashtag a sense a talk. We're all, we, before I even get into what we're going to be talking about and what sense talk is all about, mm-hmm. let this madam introduce herself. First. I'm telling you, Nina, like literally just finished the entire introduction. Jesus Christ. Killing so it. my name is Leon Conchita and as always, I am here to make sense while we're talking <laughs> <laughs> that's it so sense talk something like that. well well sense talk it's um as much as uh, we have a lot of serious issues going on in this world and yeah. every single day you will wake up it's either there's a bombast or yeah. there's oh, there's issue. politics or yeah. there's yeah. corruption yeah. or mm-hmm. there's exactly there's yeah. so much going on yeah. so we just wanted to create a forum where we can just uh, simply break it down to you mm-hmm. to your understanding to our understanding and then let's chat let's find out or rather get the best way forward I like excuse me, me. is about to get chalks are you okay now <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> You're rude. <laughs> I'm not rude. You're so, so rude. See, she just like <coughs> go. I'm too go. I just like <coughs> so yeah. Like as uh, just as Nina said, we are going to talk so much about what is happening. She's currently, rude. She's rude. Know? She's rude. So um, first things first, I just like to talk about what um, has been making headlines this whole uh, week. week. Oh. Not only in news, yeah. but especially in social media. It's been crazy because we, apart from having the Twitter challenge, we had the that BBI, mm-hmm. which was, you know, now right now it's BBI nonsense. It's still from BBI uh, report, BBI hashtag BBI, what was it? BBI um, due date. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and then now it's BBI nonsense. All sorts of things. It's so all sorts of things. So. Apart from that, Victoria's Secrets was closed. Like, mm-hmm. Victoria's Secrets was closed? Yes, the final show. The Angels. Are you serious? Yep. That happened. Oh, mm. and then uh, Michael Bloomberg wants to vote for U.S. presidency in 2020, which is like in one month's time. Yeah, so it's crazy. Okay, so we do we start home or do we... Oh, we're going to start home. Apart from that, uh, recently there's this whole... Uh, we have to talk about social... Uh, mm-hmm. You know, a, a little bit of what is happening. Yes, so, so... <laughs> social. It's not your first, it is not your social. first language. It's not. It's not. Bubu, it's not. You're I just know. fine. Oh, you're just fine. But don't embarrass me like that again. People know you're my friend. I know, right? You need to take out your words properly. Yeah. So we start off with the twatwa. Yeah, sip up. <laughs> <laughs> we'll start off with the twatwa situation. Now, um, I don't know if you're going to just have a small clip of this video play for you guys to understand what, what, what. For those who didn't know what yeah. twatwa was meant or what rounds it was making in social media, so it came from a good place, I believe. This no. is a woman who's been married for a couple she of years, a number really of years. She's. It was a marriage, uh, marriage counseling, counseling. situation. The wine church. Counseling situation. Mm-hmm. Yeah. She was uh, advising people on how to have. <clears throat> how to have a happy marriage. Yes. For lack of better words. Mm-hmm, so, mm-hmm. the problem is, I don't know. Sasa hapo. No she dey in here. I was such a new lazy. I leave you. I do, like I don't think mm-hmm. let's not be fake guys. <laughs> Conchi, for real. Let's not no. be fake. Everyone talks no about this fake. stuff. Everyone no, everyone talks, talks about, about this stuff. So People what's so happy. wrong? What's so wrong with her delivery? Uh no, it's hard if to if say. she wanted to get the point home. You see the point is home. That's why we're even talking but about it's it. But the other right thing now. you have to ask yourself is like is it a publicity mm-hmm. science, man? Because no, it's uh, it is good she talked about it. Mm-hmm. I have got no issue with it. I, I am here for it. So how she not so stop judging. I mean, <laughs> I can feel the judging. She's here for it. She's here for twat twat twat. No, I mean, <laughs> kind of conversation. Man, Nina, let me just have a piece of fries. That's, that, that's what I'm telling you. Mm-hmm. She delivered. She did. Her point was taken home. It was yes. 
the only thing people have a problem with mm -hmm. is the way she delivered. Mm -hmm. But this is something that we talk about every day. Yeah, you understand? In, in a forum, you'll sit down, people have a discussion, yeah, and you talk about what, 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 what you know. Yeah, so it what's wrong? Only because she's talking about it in front of the camera, talking about it in, in, in church? No, it's not the problem. It was funny as hell. How she said it. You know, like, it was really, really funny. And uh, I believe that when you're having such conversations and they become so hilarious that everyone is talking about it, it's, it's a point driven. Me and me are for that. All right. Yeah. So anyway, I'd like you guys to, to share with us what your your sentiments, and yeah, you can always. Is it appropriate for it to be done in church, or would it like uh, been okay? They did it like you know in a forum that does not look like a church. Like so, yeah. Just comment. Tell yeah. us. Uh, tell us what you're thinking um, on this uh, Twatwa situation. I'd like us to move on swiftly. Let me, let me uh, okay. Let me move on. Okay. Did you see the house in Raqqa where by underage children are being used for commercial sex? And it is linked to one of the former uh, uh, CS, I, I believe. And people say it is who? I, uh, okay, I don't want to mention names. It is alleged mm -hmm. that it is. So a few operation car was carried and then, bam, kids, 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 kids. How many kids did they find? Um, I don't know how many there were, but those, like a 44-year-old man, mm -hmm. uh, from two students from Kiambu, actually. Who oh, was, no. Yeah, it's so sad. So my question is, what is making people use children to satisfy themselves poverty no even if it's but these are kids go to the streets man why poverty. are you going to high school children why are you poverty. going to people who are underage poverty i'm not trying to support um what's going on or yeah. i'm not trying to say that okay having children in a house in Ruaka, um being sold so out or rather you? having being involved in commercial sex business i'm not trying to say that it's 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 a good thing that you know, mm -hmm. it's about time we start trying to find out where the problem is coming from. By the time you're having yeah. someone yeah. being so morbid, evil, to the point of harboring kids in their house and selling them for the worst, okay, one of the worst professions in the world and one of the oldest professions in the world. Is the yeah, prostitution. Yeah. So, by the time you get there, how did our society get here? How did we get to the point where, how mm -hmm. did we get to the point where yeah. we are allowing such things to happen? How did we get to the point where our society has become so freaking evil? It's not even allowed. So, it's we, we like, why are you, why would you go for kids? Why would you lure them in terms of like you cannot make money because it doesn't like for night they'll make like around five thousand ten thousand shillings you know this is someone to be honest from poverty i saw another documentary in uh, some place in kisumu it is like it is a den and they prefer underage kids it's no, no i'm like what oh ugh. i don't know no that's sick that's just sick ugh, stop big and i believe like Maybe it's the culture, but there's so many sick people out there who, you know, are not willing to seek for, for help. But come on, if you are with, with a child who is under it, what are you talking about? Another That's thing I saw, there was a, another documentary abroad, whereby a bunch of people are like, you know what, uh, pedophile is good, these people are human beings. I'm like, what? Yeah, I think we saw that together. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, hell no, it's, it's not right. Just, ugh. Oh my God. Okay. My question is once again, how at, at what point did the society become so evil? Or yeah. is something that has always been there, the society has always been evil, is this right now that is coming? But you see, you see uh, if you look at it in terms of our, where we came from, mm. people getting married as early as, you know, 12 years. In th th that's, but I, I want to believe that we've evolved. We're really, really like mm -hmm. we are learning and all that mm -hmm. we know but this time this person does not have the right you know, mindset yeah. is it more of like control do you want yeah. to, to have yeah. control over someone yeah. by the time you're going to do such kind of things yeah. it's so sickening right? yeah. yeah I think if I was back in the day I would be the rebellious one you know those ones who are chased out of the village because <laughs> you know, <laughs> I don't know who I'd be uh, I know right topic for another day Conversation for another day. Mm. Now, um, I would like to get into the BBI. E oh. BBI. BBI to me, It will go to BBI. Any decision that was being made in Kenya, eh? mm. you ask someone, so who are you mm. going to vote for 2022? To BBI. This one is to BBI. BBI. So, 
BBI mm. was all about the handshake. Yes. It took them 20 months. It took them 20, 20, 20 months. 20? Yes. I feel like I'm the only one eating. You don't want to grow fat alone, eh? Mm-mm. Let's grow fat together, honey. <laughs> <laughs> when this for Sorry. better for us. So this is what happened with BBI. We need to tell them about BBI. Yeah. It's a serious matter. Please, speak. Mm-hmm. 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 Seriously. So Stop. BBI. Swallow first. <laughs> <laughs> and then take a sip. <laughs> Are you okay now? Take a sip. It's allowed. I don't know if you're going BBI to. It is a very serious matter. You don't need to be I that don't secret. know. If you're going to see the gates of heaven, <laughs> first of all, they don't collect the names. I'm like, Anina, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, you go on the other side. <laughs> so, mm-hmm. BBI, yes, came after the handshake, mm-hmm. and then they had the handshake committee yeah. of about I don't know, mm, I don't know how many people were there. Was it 10, 17? I don't know. Mm-hmm. But all I know is that y- y- Yusuf Haji was the one, um, the chairman mm-hmm. of the BBI. Yeah. And finally, the report was released on Friday, that's last week. Uh-huh. And um, there are different aspects to it. There are different, uh, of course, they, they shared um, Actually, their goals. The highlights. Yeah, the highlights, okay. Mm-hmm. There are nine different pointers, mm-hmm. but they share their goals moving forward. Yeah. How did BBI come about? Now, for those who are not in Kenya or those who are not Kenyans, this is how yes. BBI came about. After the uh, after 2017 elections, first of all, Kenya had one of the most expensive elections in the world. I know, right? We spent billions of shillings, more than 50 billion. We're not cheap. More, like one of the most expensive elections in the world. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We did the first election which was nullified and then we went back to the ballot again to do the second Second elections so there was a lot of back and forth back and forth at some point uh, Mm -hmm. uh, former prime minister Raila Odinga was in Uhuru Park there was a swearing in ceremony Uh, exactly most uh, most referred to as the mock mock ceremony mock swearing in ceremony Mm -hmm. and then eventually of course Uhuru uh, the president Uhuru Mugai Kenyatta continued with this now second term that ends in 2022 and for months there was back and forth back and forth back and forth for quite a long time and then they decided you know what let's just shake hands and end it. Let's end it. Let's just discover, like, you know what? We can be frenemies. Yes. And then now, after all that, they, they formed the handshake committee. Yeah. And now they have the BBI, which you're going to take us through the, oh, yeah. the pointers. Mm-hmm. Now we have the, the BBI report. Mm-hmm. My question is, now, as, as Kunchi prepares to give us the pointers, my question is this. To make sure I feel like um, at some point our leaders the reason why according to me the reason why they get the literate were trying us I don't understand what you're even saying no most of those they literally were trying us because Hmm. Before the handshake, mm-hmm. Biashara ilikuwa inenda chini, the economy was not doing very well. Mm-hmm. And by Biashara kuenda chini, remember these guys are the ones who yeah. are leading in business in the country. Yeah, Investors were checking out of this country. Stock market was going up and down, up and down. So, they decided, because Biashara in Aribika, and now we are being affected, yeah. you know what, this is what we're going to do. Let's have a handshake, tuendele hey. na Biashara. Mm-hmm. And, well... After the handshake, handshake clearly you saw investors started coming back. Things started going back to normal. Same thing happened in uh, 2007. Mm-hmm. Things went amiss. People then, died, unfortunately. No, the, 2007 was really bad. The, uh, of course, because of the post-election violence. Yeah. And then mm-hmm. what happened? Rao and Obako Pap. decided they're going to be boys. Now. Hmm. But they've always been boys, man. What but is the purpose of public participation? <laughs> Why are we lying for ourselves? 
Ben, I, I just have what, a question. What is the problem? Is the problem our leaders? Is the problem us? I came, I came, I came up with this, and I said, I we came, are the problem. We are the problem. Exactly. We are because we because know what these people in, are. We're putting in the wrong exactly. people. We are the issue. Yeah. We can't say, oh, I tell you, I keep on saying, I really am looking forward to the next election. I want to undo my mistakes. Cause me me na kimbele mbele angu ni liji pele kapo marangape Billy. You can now calculate her age, ladies and gentlemen. Uh-huh. I've voted more than that. <laughs> what I'm just saying is that I just said to just Jipele Kayani, mm. I could just not sit down and think, uh-huh. so I had this hopes. I'm thinking, I'm like, this is really, really good. Mm. I'm going to vote because at the end of the day, <coughs> because at the end of the day, mm. I am looking for a better country for my future babies, for my future grandbabies, mm-hmm. and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. And it starts with us. So I went and voted. Hey, I'm telling you, I don't know. I like you know Do like you how it? how you make mistakes, and then you're like, what the hmm was I thinking? Mm-hmm. It's one of those things because I knew these are people who are going to take us to the next level mm-hmm. we kept on saying we need people who you know we need like some sort of youth to lead this nation mm-hmm. but this youth has to a twad as any let me even make matters worse it's not even a quickie man mm-hmm. crazy let Ugh. me even make no let me make matters worse even during that bbi when they formed that handshake committee yeah no did you see one youth member to no, represent no, no. the youth. Youth no. is 70% of this country. Did you see even one youth member? I don't know. I feel one like youth leader, at least. Mm-hmm. Let me tell you. Babo Wino, Oba, <laughs> Sakaja. Mm, the guy for ridiculous. It's called. Nyambane. Uh, yeah, but they said ridiculous. I don't know. But he, I just. Tony Samway. Oh, yeah. Tony Samway. We'll remember him later. Um, yes, there are. All these guys are young people. Young, young people, but. You know, different. Okay, fine. Let me tell you the, the definition of the youth but in, in, in Kenya. None of them was available, mm. or rather, none of them was chosen mm-hmm. to do what? To represent the youth in this handshake committee. We are seventy percent. I was watching while the youth. At test today, um, what one attack for your elections? Wakubwa chuo na tukujia. Sisi na wapo tapanga laini. Sisi na wapo tutenda rally. What happens to the youth guys? Let me tell you, these guys are so what rich. Happens they have youth? business right, right left now. and center. They are, you know, like, you know, I, I keep on saying, oh my God, like the economy is bad. Then they don't know the economy is bad. Mm. Our president, they don't understand why we're broke. And he's the head of the Athens state, you the know? The problem is, huh? So I'm just thinking, oh, the problem is us. I can't, we, we the can't problem is them. us. It's the us. problem is us. The problem there. is the youth. The problem is, the question is, what next? What next? Do you think, you think like, probably we need to have like some sort of qualification? Like, listen, if you have a court case that, you know, is like to do with corruption, or do not come and buy for, you know, like <laughs> some sort of position. Like, you know, it, there's something I Punchy. saw. You remember Punchy. when then the results came in, huh? Someone, there was like, I don't know how many numbers of A's, B's, C, D's. So someone says, these people who are in the D's. I'm going to hire the ones who are going to be the next <laughs> Take us through that video. Very quickly, let's rush through it. So, yeah, so uh, I'm just going to read uh, the, uh, the highlights. Huh? Yeah. So it was lack of national ethos. Or ethos. Mm. That's the one. As you read, let me clarify. Mm, yes. Sasa hapo, numero one. Hapo eh? nusasa, uh, President Ruhu Migai Kinyata, His Excellency, sir. Alisema, Hello. on the 26th of December. Mm. Instead of us, sasa, tuna celebrate kama wawa ingine. Uh, Nizai tuwa zulu. Boxing day. Apana. Hata itoa. Ama anasajia. Sapatu wa lewe. Sapatu wa mlembez day. Apana. <laughs> African cultural day. <laughs> what are we going to call it then? The African cultural day. That's what he said. What culture? Yours, mine. This is a funny name. How about we'll be like to everyone in the, in the traditional yeah. outfits yeah, and stuff let's like come that? Out there, that would be not. so dope. Makes sense. But let's say they're gonna ask for billions to implement it. Okay. Carry on. <laughs> Number two. <laughs> Number two. Responsibilities and rights. Responsibilities and rights. What caught my eye on this one is yeah. that um, what they're trying to propose mm-hmm. is the youth age between 18 and 26 mm-hmm. should consider six months uh, voluntary work mm-hmm. voluntary work in helping their society so are they going to put something like israel how they do it whereby you have to that would be, be really cool that would be so dope that would be really cool. i am but in for I, that I, I, I don't but know again it's gonna, gonna be that. another scandal <laughs> 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 it's gonna be no, no i don't have hope 
for this country, man. Hey, it hey, died. Hey, hey, oh, yeah. Let's hey, go. Hey. Number three. It was mm. ethnic, uh, ethnic uh, antagonism and competition. Right there, um, I saw a suggestion mm -hmm. of having, like, uh, yeah. if you have a school, let's say, like mm -hmm. in Mwingi, kuna shule ukambani, ya? Mm -hmm. uh, usijaze wat, watoto kutoka ukambani, peke yake. 50% of the students should come from ukambani from and 50% from, from across the, the country. Which That's is it, okay. we kill tribalism and all that. Mm -hmm. Which is okay. Then you have the other one is uh, divisive uh, election, divisive elections. Is that the one for Prime Minister? Like, Prime Minister. Me, I'm so tired uh, of this. Uh, uh, me, 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 let me just tell break you. it down first. I don't like being what exactly is being so basically the same. The general elections in Kenya have often been uh, characterized mm -hmm. by the heightening tensions and violence, yeah, which because are of the stall the economic activity. So, so to stop elections from being a do or die event, the BBR uh, report proposes a more inclusive political system where more communities play a bigger uh, participatory mm -hmm. role in governance. Mm -hmm. So this can be achieved through change uh, the nature and structure of the executive to uh -huh. make it more inclusive by one. creating you know, the That's position the of a one. prime That's minister, the which they removed. That's the one. Okay. Mm -hmm. Then mm -hmm. Just pause right there. Mm -hmm. If there's one word that I really hate hearing from our leaders, yep. is inclusivity. What is inclusivity? Because for wo, from wo, from where know. I stand, I feel like inclusivity is to make sure kila mtu beshte ako apate job. You understand? Inclusivity is more of let me do this person a favor. Ah, this guy has been my boy for such like a long time. Lazima yeah. apate kazi. It's the same way. I don't understand to date what is the purpose of having a, a CS. Yeah. You have the cabinet uh, secretary. secretary. You have the principals. Uh, PS principal uh -huh. secretary. Uh, what is the purpose of? Is it a cabinet assistant secretary? Let me tell you. What's the purpose of the CAS? What do they do? When it comes to the government, my, my, my brain cells are tired. Okay, so, <laughs> but we need. We really need to ask ourselves: What yeah. is this inclusivity? History of Premier I don't want to delve too much into it because we have other things to talk about. Yeah. But um, please do share your comments. I'd like to hear your sentiments and then we yeah, can talk about it next also, time as well. They also said that we change the you know, cabi uh, cabinet, uh, it's called that secretaries to cabinet minist minister or something. So, so, you so make sense. I probably make sense. Can you, like me, I don't even understand. Then you need next. not even implemented <laughs> quite well. Next. Oh, the <laughs> next one is the same one. They, the, the one they all know. Inclus Inclusivity. Inclusivity. It's the one, eh? <sighs> So number you, you those two numbers one get funny well, collab. Do you think these people are paid for this? Let me tell you. I, yeah. like, no, I, I, when they say that they included Kenyans, which Kenyans are they? So How come they have never been included into this? Because mm -hmm. a lot of us have opinion. To get catching to say zini ni. At the day, it was Mr. Jim Lenoir who was Kenyan. Then there's shared prosperity. Shared prosperity, no? Uh, yeah, prosperity, like order, sorry. Uh, prosperity. In order to promote prosperity, the BBI report recommends that mm. the county needs to have a 50-year plan and work towards its phase of five years to ten years. Let me tell you now a story of this county <laughs> having me. <laughs> Where I live, there's a massive pothole. <laughs> like, it's so cute, Johnny. Literally, it's like a septic, yeah? Mm -hmm. And we don't even call them portals we call mm -hmm. them septic mm -hmm. yani it's so huge do you know what they did to come and repair it mm -hmm. these guys who are repairing it walikuja unajua ile kale kale ile yellow inachoronga katikati ya barabara walipitisha juu so unaona tu imepita tu unaona kanini kamekuja alafu iko na cadence so that's it so Anyways, <laughs> me, me, this ten year plans. <laughs> no, I have a plan. I I can't. I cannot deal. And then corruption. Ngoja. Corruption, devolution, that's the other point, safety and security. Mm -hmm. Let's talk corruption. Come on, we all know corruption is never gonna die. We all know corruption. Why are we kidding ourselves? We're not killing corruption. It's we always going to be there, mm -hmm. and uh, unfortunate. That's the way to go. But they tell have to die. Like, okay, fine. To die. Like, but at, at least we pull like a twenty percent to go one no one point. Do you know what percent of? Do you know what has me when it comes to matters corruption? Yeah. Ata kama unatamani kuiba. Kuiba ni makosa first of all eh? Both in the Bible and the Quran they've said don't steal eh? Lakini hata kama unatamani kuiba. Mhm. Kunchi sahi. 
Na kwa leza kunchi. Take this for table, bro. Yeah. Yeah. I tell you do what you think is best when it comes to maybe getting me an outfit. Hmm? Mhm. Kunchi. Corruption ya Kenya vile inakuanga. Ah, na kushukula. E40 bro. No, no, no. E40 bro. Utachukua 35? Mm-hmm. Unifanya maneno ya 5. Mhm. 5 is cheap of course. Yeah. So that means everything is going to get ruined. Mhm. Mm-hmm. Lakini sasa you see in other nations they try. Unapatia mtu 40 bob hata kama neighbor tay but 10 afanye kazi na hiyo 30 bob. So yeah, that's what I'm saying. You see corruption in Kenya is such an I don't know what happens. I don't know if back let's just go back to public participation. Is it us or is it them? Hapo ndo naona sasa tu. I'm not saying kwa kwa public participation. No, the thing is no, the public participation what I mean by that is oh, yeah, are we making enough noise? We when it comes to matters corruption we just put a finger go and go, go go and ask one of those MCAs that we have in this Nairobi yeah. ask them what do they do what is their job what do they do they don't even know probably what is their job exactly your yeah, MCA like, what is their job description enough for like him no, if yeah, you no. see them vying exactly. if you see them vying uno reason to eh by the way you want to vie for But MCA the do you know what they say uno reason to you want to vie for MCA yeah unataka kuingia gava eh sikia mimi ningia ndani ni tuko yangu alafu nitoke Yeah. So everyone is just driving to check into the government mm-hmm. or becoming a civil uh, uh, civil servant yeah. so that they can get this and yako yake haraka So how is that even helping the situation? So how what type of Kenya are we living in where we are just, tell, yeah? we're thriving in in we are successful corrupted people. I guess yeah, we're very we're very good at corruption. Do you know corruption here in Nzanga up? Corruption is as Nangali. good as me and you. Inanza kwa kwanza. Mwenyupa kioka in town. Sio wote kwa sababu wana ngana mauti. Inanza kwa mauti. Ai let's be serious. Hello Zaska. Nina, no. Deski deski. Nina, mimi. Deski kuzama gari. Deski kuzama gari. Umefa kwapi? Ah, see That is an alleged Another legend and another corruption starts from there. Mine is like right now there's no jobs to be honest. Hakuna kazi. So when I say someone's you know hustling, that's guy has a job. That's why he's there. No, but, but they don't have paying him. They don't have enough. Why am I in the sports? <laughs> no, no, we are just showcasing corruption. Corruption. <laughs> Right. So yeah, like I said, so basically I think what's going to, the best thing that we can be able to do especially the leaders is when you're given billions, especially the ones NYC NYCS. I want to know what that scandal year in year out. Yeah, in CJ on to murder like you know like someone who is arrested on something. I don't know what happened. Make I don't know. Let me tell you. But now the judiciary hawana pesa. Judiciary hawana pesa na mwana tunataka Bentley. Oh, <coughs> sema wana pesa. Yaani kila mtu ana pesa kila lakini pesa. Kenya na tenge ina Kenya makes pass. money. Umaita mbe River Road wewe ni you biashara inaenda ngala. You know you'd rather work in River Road than work uptown. Una biashara nyingine River, River Road, Road is the, the money exchange. Hapo chini kitoli pale hapo. Kamkunji. Kamkunji kwanza. There is no time bus. Pesa 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 alafu ndio fanya pesa. pesa, pesa. Kama Kenya ina pesa how comes always have traffic every day watu wako na magari? Eh? Mm. Kina kunchi even have the the pride of bribing askaris who have jobs lakini anasema tu oh doesn't have a job. Who have yeah, jobs right. and bribe? I promote a hustler man. That's called creating your own business. There are no jobs in Kenya. You're nena. parking here yeah, in Nairobi. You're parking here. Yeah, you're parking na lipa ni kona app na lipa and all that. But you see that what happens is also the people who are put in charge, the people of city ka, Kanjo themselves. They're like, "Hey, a couple of alafu tanini." I'm like, "Uh, ni kona app." Like ah, and then like when you say like I'm here for like twenty minutes and stuff like that, you'd be like, ah, what's happening? If let's say corruption near parking, one guy fanya tu, come on and CBD. Regardless where you are, from CBD to Upper Hill, from whatever it is, if you pay one, uh, you know, in one place, you can park any other place within Nairobi mm-hmm. without paying. I don't know how many times that will make sense. But imagine una lipa town. Ukenda upper hill unalipa ukenda westi unalipa I'm like yo it is Nairobi it is only from here to Mombasa Okay yeah. I have a solution mm-hmm. for you Stop driving nitakupatia namba ya Kipchumba Kipchumba is my ndudhi guy <laughs> Hey Kipchumba ndapanya <laughs> namba ya Kipchumba Hmm? Niko na ndugu gai. Basa ya. Niko na. That's the problem. Unajua si shida ni. That's the problem. Hana pesa. So mpaka right yangu yenye nilipanga 25 bob pa imepanda. Sasa nalipa 50. Mimi economy is not doing good for me. 
I'm sorry, babe. It's me not. Too. I really me don't too. like this me economy, man. Me too. I don't know if it's going to get. No, but in the next two years, what are you doing in the economy? Me too. I think no, producer, I'm going to get out of the mob. I'm sorry. I mean, I'm going to hint. I'm going to die. I'm going to die. I'm going to die. I'm going to die. Welcome back to Nina and Conchita. Nina says you can introduce you, but I'm going to get out of here. I'm going to get out of here. Hey, so. Take a sip. You are drinking the same time. Shout out to Conchi's baby by the way. We just have to say aho. <laughs> just bring your baby to work day. <laughs> I have to bring my baby to I'm work day. I'm telling you. <laughs> this girl has suffered. And I put it on and shh. I put it on and shh. <laughs> She's like, to hell with it. I am going to speak mommy. Everyone is going to hear. <laughs> so we can show her first, but shout out to you. Say hi. Just hi. Okay, good girl. No, you just like, ni ni ni. Come here, baby. Nikonam top of a like, ooh, Conchi. Then I'm like, here we are. <laughs> we are twins. Gonza. Love you, baby. Shoo, shoo, shoo. <laughs> Mommy is working now. Love you. Okay, now, so we are going to play a game. Mm -hmm. Never by ever, but hey, Sam, I have to keep it PJ. You know? <laughs> so we're going to ask her just one thing. Hey, this one's... Okay, someone take my baby out of this room. Because I can't. <laughs> like a jit. Whoa, this producer. Wilkins, why would it do this to us? Uh, hey. Baby Conchita, you have to leave. Yeah, baby Conchita has to go. All I right, so you. okay, this is never have I ever. I just, I, I, I need to know how it works. So you say I've, It's not like ever. I've never played it before, but if I need have, to work. If you have, you say? Yeah, if you've never. Oh, that's it? I've you lift it up. You lift it up? Yeah. This way? Mm -hmm. Okay. Whatever she's gonna say, I've never. <laughs> Do you know that there's some I know you've done, so don't lie. Yo, it's too much exposure, man. Okay, we'll we'll we'll. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we'll start with. Mhm. Mm Great. Never. Have I ever? Mhm. Mm sent someone mm -hmm. a naughty pic. <clears throat> Why are you doing? Kati kati. Kati kati. Fifth man, man, yo. It's a quite tricky. Kuna na kumsa kuna ma archives ma. Alafu na ba kwa president. Ora kwa kcheng. This is the one you guys are voting for. So fifth man, man. Never have I ever slept in the bath. Bath sasa ni bath wana. I I have. When I do like a bubble bath thing, that that go me relax. Bubble bath, oh, watch your shamba, but it's okay. It carry on. Shamba name is Lego. Have I embarrassed you? Very, but it's okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Let's embarrass. Never have I ever received a lap dance, my nigga. It was very nice. 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 <laughs> oh, no, no, no. You have never have ever okay, taken no, a no, sexy no, 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 no. selfie. <laughs> My desk and I do this all the time. Ah, Story have. of our lives. Come on, every single day we have to. But yeah. see, like, well, most of the time to my face beats. It's okay. But then we face beats. Yeah, we transform once in a while. Sometimes we look homeless, but we okay. It's the economy. It's not our fault. It's our fault. There you go. <laughs> never have I ever had a friend with benefits. Don't judge. Oh, oh my God, to survive. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was single. I was supposed to do not looking for a husband. Mm -hmm. So, some benefits are essential. Mm -hmm. It's a basic yeah. need. Eh? It's a basic need. Uh -huh. Food for life. Okay. And then after that, let's cool it Anyway, sorry okay. for another day. Okay. okay. No problem. <laughs> Never have I ever kissed a stranger. No. Ever. I've, I've never. Fifth Amendment. Oh, it's in the second We need to talk after this, eh? <laughs> Na, uh, never have I ever flashed someone. Flashed F like true flashed? Oh, you like Simu. Me, I do like I do all the time. Yes, Simu, the chef flashed. Hey, mom. But now there's even reverse call. You reverse call. My mom. Let me tell you, she flashes me. 
if I don't call her, she calls me to tell to ask me if I've seen a flash. So <laughs> a flashback, yeah. Shout so out to all the mother flashing. Life. Yeah, hi mama. Uh-huh. <laughs> never have I ever had a threesome? Nah, I've never. Thank God. Why are you looking at me? I'm, I'm so happy. I am so happy. It's like the hand is stitches. The hand is like, bzz, 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 bzz. where are we going? Like never <laughs> have I ever uh, what, role played? Oh, yeah. Come on. It's nice. It's nice. Who hasn't? Yeah. Man? Come on, be realistic. Amen. Don't don't live a boring life when it comes no, to it. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Give me a god. I do. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you go through. And it's true game. To your party again. Hey. Uh-huh. <laughs> Never have I ever mm-hmm. sexted. Hi, honey. What are we gonna do? Talk about politics. <laughs> I mean. I mean yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. 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 Oh, Quite, yeah. mm-hmm. 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 Never have I ever flirted with a teacher? No. 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 no never. Teacher? No. no. Mm-hmm. Never have I ever been to a nude beach? I haven't been to a nude beach. It's actually one on, on my bucket list. My birthday is in February. So, hey guys, uh, highlight like your girl. We are doing. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm not going to knit it. Oh, I don't know what I feel like, but I've always been a Fenway kind of a person. I like traveling. I like, you know, I haven't been out in quite some time. This economy has taught what my passport, man. Like, it's crazy. I need a passport stamp. So we go. We do something in front. Not near the beach. Not near the okay, beach. You can boo-boo. do something okay. much better. Okay. Beach <laughs> I don't want to say naked. <laughs> Welcome to the land of bitches. <laughs> Nude bitches. <laughs> uh-huh. Never have I ever had a crush on a co-worker? No. No, I have. You have? Yeah. I have never. And we almost got married. It was really? it was a very serious Mother thing. I have a thing for no like I've never really paid attention to co workers. Mm-hmm. I don't think I will. No love is love. No. I just it's just me. It's my principle. Mm. I don't anywhere it, it and it's so weird, like you, you guys are crushing on each other in the same office every single day. Oh, how do you miss each other? I'll tell you about it later. <laughs> it's very nice. <laughs> now, have I ever been shy in the bedroom? Kayamba! Kayamba! <laughs> That's too Now, this is too much information, Mr. Producer. We are done. And we are done. We are done. We are done. This never have I ever. It's a good job. Maybe. 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 Because I have a feeling I'm gonna be, you know, the next first lady flips hair. You never know, Nina. My dreams are valid, man. At and I'm rate. so glad I'm your friend. I know, right? So, 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 so. You work hard, I'll come join you. <laughs> I'm depending on you. Oh, so unfortunate. Mm-hmm. Anyway, that's all that we have for today. This is just the introduction. We'll be getting into more serious talks. We'll be, you know, discussing way, way, way to. Uh, so many details it's going to be both scary happy sad interesting by the end of the day we got you we have to make sense out of it all it's conchita's world i'm just living in it oh but then she is living in my yeah. world always living in it? her world so yeah. that's it for this uh, episode or the first episode of sense talk uh, please do talk to us remember you can always reach us on our social media platforms that's uh wilkins uh, for the Liz, uh, podcast. podcast that's at nina or uh, at the nina shaban why do you have the v let me tell you don't it's like the, it's not not the university mm, uh, the, v the. V Nina Shaban. V. Kunchi. I will tell you, Brits. People start thinking I'm violent. Not just because your episode of Kunchi is violent. So, V Nina Shaban and at Leon. Conchita. That is at Leon Conchita. Conchita with a C O N C H I T A H. Tell them your full names. Conchita Kopasit. 
and then kuna Kalilian mahali hapo katikati na hiyo capacity si capacity tu capacity i know man so my friends call me cappuccino but it's okay don't call me cappuccino i, I will ignore as i said it's conchita's world mm, we're all living cool. in it it's a awesome <laughs> world it's so cool it's so realistic and um to be honest nina and i are going to be as real as possible we are not going to fake it we are not going to be i like when you talk about me like this i know mm-hmm. we, but we're always keeping things real so mm-hmm. whatever conversation we'll be having they're going to be what we think about you will see us from our hangovers whatever it is mm. <laughs> not nina i sorry my no, apologies no, 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 no. Uh, uh, yeah, sorry, no, no, no i'm not just being late no, no, no. no i'm not going to say i'm not i have i have few things to say kuliko na point saka me belt sorry nina no kiendelee hivyo unaendelea kuchoma na tukona wazazi kwa nchi sio chumi sio tunasema venye yes no we're just saying that sometimes you just have a bad day and when you have a bad day you don't have to fake a smile to please people we are just here to have you know like realistic talks that make sense and that's it for today i have been your co-host <laughs> thank you so much m- until next time <laughs> all right thank you so much for keeping us company my name is nina shivan we'll see you in a bit bye 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 guys first off don't be talking about the coach money talks don't be talking about explosion you know we ain't about to leave so we'll leave you with some bars money talks